Welcome back to Diablo 3, everyone. This is Kyle Blaine, and uh, hopefully you can hear those voices much better than last time. Let's uh, let's continue where we left off, and let's talk to Leah. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. I seek your wisdom. Tell me of the fallen star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. Okay. Oh, we leveled up. Oh, let's... Oh, no, we just got something. Um, oh, that's much better. Let's put that on. Um, yeah, no, we didn't level up. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. The skeleton king was once... He lost whoops. both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now, it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. The Oryx should be in the unformed land, yet he stands between me and the fallen star. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I am very familiar with the blacksmith because what's cool is in this game, when you, you can upgrade the blacksmith, and when you upgrade him in one area, or in one character, oh my goodness, they don't stop talking. So rude. Um, when you upgrade it with one character, you upgrade it with all of your characters. So this is not what it looks like in the beginning, usually. But because I have another character that's upgraded it, um, yeah. So I'm assuming I have to go to that arrow. Oh, actually, yeah, why don't I come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get, um, yeah. Hmm. Yep. 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 Okay. Uh, do you have anything that interests me? Bullseye binding. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and buy that. Why not? That's pretty cool. Much much more valuable. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, now moving on. Mhm. Mm ah, there's the blacksmith. Blacksmith. Deckard Kane said you could help me find the crown. Deckard Kane. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like Donkey. all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? It must be done, Blacksmith. I will help you. This is, this is probably the darkest mission I've ever played in the game. Gotta go kill the guy's wife. This is semi-reminiscent, not semi-reminiscent, very reminiscent of an episode of The Walking Dead. Do I even remember how to... There we go, okay. Oh, I forgot about my dogs. There we go. What's up, dogs? Oh, those things are so awesome. My love, forgive me. Ooh, she knocked me back. Did you see that? I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your donkey. Donkey. My name is Eamon. I need your assistance, Hedrick. I search for the crown of the Oryk. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. <laughs> All right, anything new here? Corpse spiders. Something new with the poison dart. Splinters shoot multiple poison darts. Let's see what that looks like. <gasps> oh, that's cool. All right, we'll do that one now instead of the uh, the spiders. So basically, I don't know if I didn't really explain that real well. Uh, and you go into your your skills. Uh, I just I was just earned an upgrade to my primary poison dart skill. And and eventually you unlock more and more and more 
Uh, so this one, transform your poison dart into a snake that has a chance to stun the enemy. So you can you can then, between each of these, have multiple combinations of things that you can choose from. And I like to try them all as I get them. It's not, it's not necessarily that this is better than the spiders. It's just different. It lends itself to different gameplay. All right, so let's open up this gate and head on through here. Now, where am I going? Find the cemetery of the Forsaken in the Weeping Hollow. Okay, this took me forever to find last time. Oh, oh yeah. The problem with this is, is to, I mean, this this gives me a nice ranged attack, which actually I should just hold down shift and just start attacking like crazy. So that if it hits something, oh, maybe it's not working like that, like I thought it would. Get him, bats. You're like it. Come. Interesting. All right, let's just follow the path and see if it leads us to where we want to go. I don't think it does, though. Let's get that guy down. That's good. I love these dogs. Oh, so cool. They're my dogs. They also give me a great cheesy joke to say the whole time. Dogs. So, yeah, I will... Uh, this is the really the first video I've recorded today. Uh, I don't have the kiddo today. Um, he is at the beach with friends. And what is that? Okay. Um, and so, uh, so I did the yard and all that stuff today and taking the afternoon to record some videos. This is I, I recorded a Minecraft just a minute ago, but it was really short. And now, okay, hold up. I gotta lower some of this volume. Effects down. I'm gonna lower the voices down a little bit too. We'll see what if I like that or not. That and that. And music down. Um, I can hardly hear myself think. That's much better. Um, okay, let's just get him with that. Come on, get him, get him, get him. I think I like the spiders better than the darts, to be completely honest. In fact, let's go ahead and change that real quick. Is that pause? Oh, I can't change that while I'm in combat. That's good. I'm glad they have that set. Seriously, it's taking me forever to kill this guy. Maybe I just went and hit him. I thought I was. Oh my goodness, they keep teleporting in. Where are they teleporting from? Maybe that's just what they do. Um, so anyway, so I recorded a quick Minecraft video, and then I'm recording this. I did just get Skyrim, because I had a cool little coupon um, that got emailed to me. And I went and got it from uh, the Skyrim Legendary Edition from Walmart for... Very, very cheap. I'm very happy with my purchase. I was going to wait for the Steam Summer Sale, but um, I don't know that it would have gone as cheap as I got it for. If it does, oh well. Um, so anyways, I'll be recording that sometime soon as well. I'm very excited. I love Skyrim. I'll be playing as a no-nonsense Nord that hates, uh, that hates elves. And um, my goal is, granted, this, this probably takes a very long time. But I remember when Skyrim first came out, pretty soon after it came out, this guy posted saying, I did all of, you know, they have, they, they have in Skyrim an ultimate, an unlimited amount of quests. Like, it never stops generating random quests for you. Um, one guy got so far with the Jarl of Windhelm that one of the quests he got was to go all around Skyrim and kill every Dark Elf, or every Elf, I don't remember if it was every Elf or every Dark Elf, and I was like, oh, I want that quest. <laughs> Because, like, that's 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 insane. That's, like, you could probably search Skyrim for a year and not find every elf. But that's just why Skyrim is awesome. Yeah, I like the spiders much better because I just click, 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 and the spiders do the work for me. Whereas the darts, I had to kind of think about where I was clicking. Okay, so this is not where I want to go, I don't think. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got a little dot bleeping up there, so that's good. Go get them, dogs. Go get them, dogs. So yeah, I say all that to say this. Um, looking forward to doing some Skyrim. I've done some testing. I can run it on Ultra. Um, I want to find a few graphical mods to put on it. I think I found a few. I can't really tell if they're working or not, to be honest. Like, I can't. I haven't played it in such a long time. Like, one was like to enhance the water, but I haven't played it in such a long time. I don't remember what the water was supposed to look like. Oh, hello over there, friend. Hello to you too. Okay, well maybe it just took me forever to find this last time because I didn't follow the path. Oh my goodness, they just never stop coming. They never stop! Never I don't know that song, actually, well enough to sing it. I just know it's never stop! 
Checkpoint reached. That's good. Search for the Chancellor's Altar beneath the Cemetery of the Forsaken. Okay. So we got to go find some entrances down deep into the catacombs of the sanctuary of the sanctuary cemetery twilight zones catacombs looking for your turntables something something and gramophones all right we are in the defiled crypt come my doggies the skeletons are no joke by the way Pull out the fiery bats. Fiery bats. Ooh, new lore. During the last days of King Leoric's reign, even the skeletons of the ancient dead could not rest. They took up their broken armor and weapons once more, ready to cut down anything that yet drew breath. Though wasted and fragile, these creatures possess a twisted cleverness that makes them quite formidable. Yes. Oh, bless me. It's all the dust in this cave. <laughs> yeah, okay, obtained by using the blacksmith to... Oh, okay. That item is something you give to the blacksmith and he makes stuff with it. I love the blacksmith because like, you collect stuff and he makes you weapons. And those weapons are usually pretty legit. Look, they have lots of enchantments and stuff on them and whatnot. Is that something? No, at least not right now. <laughs> She's crying. Robbers have defiled my tomb. Well, I'm sorry about that. Now, my husband writhes in torment because I do not rest at his side. Return my bones so that we may rest in peace. Aye, aye, sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what these are for. Oh yeah, that guy teleports after you kill him a little bit every time. And then you finally get to fight him for reals. I love these dogs. Like, they're taking care of all these skeletons. And what I love is, they actually, the skeletons are aggroed to the dogs, not me. So it's not like the skeletons are trying to get to me and the dogs are just kind of attacking them. It's that the skeletons actually go for the dogs. Which is very helpful. They're also really strong, sturdy, healthy. Oh, I love those fiery bats. So awesome. Alright, so let's check. Oh. Got some axe. Plus seven life after each kill. That's pretty cool. I think we're going to use that because we might be able to throw a little bit slower. Yeah, it's a little bit slower. The plus seven life after each kill skill is or kill is pretty cool. I'll take that. They have gone together to the unborn land. Yay. Okay, pick up the loot. That's why I love this game. I love loot. Um, 14 armor. I get plus, two, but I don't get the healing. Um, that is certainly better because I get more experience. I like getting more experience. Wait, am I supposed to click on that? Or anything? No, okay. Moving on, dogs. Move along, little doggy. Dungeons are so pretty. Alright. How's my guy look with his axe? Pretty cool. Oh, I hate these imps. The spirits grant me blessing. Ooh. 
the spirits grant me blessings. Man, you level up so fast in the beginning of this. Like, I don't remember leveling up that fast in the earlier Diablos. Ooh, new lore. Demons have been known to devour their own young when no other nourishment is available. Their offspring, the imps, sometimes manage to flee and band together with other demon spawn. They rove in vicious packs, ready to descend upon the unwary traveler and rip his body to shreds with their tiny needle-sharp teeth. Okay, so I didn't want to disturb him. Um, I got an upgrade to the zombie hand skill thing that slows the enemies. Uh, I have that, but I don't want it. I, don't, I'm, I wouldn't use that, really. I didn't like it when I was using it. It basically causes a bunch of hands to reach up from the ground and slows the enemies in an area. I, eh, eh. That might be useful later on. Oop, new lore. The tragedies in these lands have left many restless spirits in their wake, and they demand retribution. These spirits will take out their vengeance on any unsuspecting individual who may pass. For they believe that the blood of the living will yet restore the lives that were ripped away from them. Um, so anyways, I won't be using that one. Uh, you're supposed to not find it in that shrine. You have to go to another one, I think. Need more time. Whoops, sorry. Here we go, this one right here. A test of my skin. Who put up the wall? Hey! Hey! Uh, I can throw over the wall. Oh, it's him over there. Can I reach him? No, I can't. I really am tempted to turn the, uh, the difficulty on the game up because, like, like my health never goes down. Oh, got some new things. Um, no, it's not good. Chance to deal 10% area damage on hit. I don't, I don't think that'll work well with my spiders. Because I think the... I think that attribute gets sent to my spiders. Okay, nothing there in there. Moving onward. Oh, let's go and break that for good measure. And of course it's a skeleton. I laugh when it says loose stone. Makes me think of loose stool, as in poop. I don't know why I'm bothering to break those. I haven't been bothering to break them this whole time. Get them, my pretties! Oh, 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 oh! That guy's rare. It's a, it's a, it's a treasure imp. He steals a lot of stuff, and he has a lot of loot on him, like the, like the loot midgets on, on Borderlands, and they disappear if you don't kill them fast enough. I got him! Yes! Lots of gold for me. Okay, now let's take care of the real enemies. The truth burns you. The truth burns you. Gosh, I love these bats. They're just so cool. Book up the hawk. Ooh, I got lots of cool stuff from all that. Lots of gold lying around. Das good. What's that thing over there? We'll go see in just a moment. Let's check our inventory real quick. Um, uh, the extra intelligence will be nice. Mm, no. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Nothing for me there. Right, let's head up here. Oh, uh, the crown will not be found in this crypt, I think. Oh, really? I thought there were only two crypts. Maybe there's more. Well, but I haven't even looked in this one. How would you know? Maybe this is all there is to the crypt. Surely not. I've never seen one this small. Ooh. Never seen one of those before. Yeah, so these dungeons are definitely randomly generated. I was kind of concerned they weren't at one point. But they definitely are. Reduces cooldown of all skills by 4%. That sounds good to me. Oh, I hate this poison stuff. This is the stuff that actually does kind of do some good good amount of damage. I gotta get them. Come here. Come on, dogs. We gotta attack them first. Okay, you got two of them down.
Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him there. There we go. Why is that stuff lit? Oh, it's common debris out there. I just want, it, it drives me nuts, like, I get some stuff that I want to loot, look at, like, loot and stuff, but then there's, like, endless enemies, and I can't stop to look at it. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, okay, nothing important. Oh, these guys are much easier. Um, I think he was right. I don't think we're going to find it in this cave. I think that's all of it. What's the button for the map? Tab. Yeah, he's right. Hmm. Maybe it wasn't the other one. I don't think it was. Hmm. That's the equivalent to Skyrim making the exit to every... Ah, here when we go. When King Leoric came to court, he brought many nobles with him. And nobles, oddly enough, want noble crypts. So I showed up with my shovel. Thinking to make easy profit by digging a few holes. Ha, there's no stopping their demands around here. Now, I eat, sleep, and breathe dirt, it seems. Um, yeah, so that, that exit of the dungeon is basically the equivalent of how Skyrim makes their dungeon exits, like, right near the entrance or somewhere good for you. Which always made me laugh. I mean, it's beautiful design. Oh, whoops. Didn't see him. Yeah, I really do like this witch doctor dude. Did he just spew out the fiends and not the... Oh, wow. I'd never seen that before. That I remember. He didn't spit out... Um, he didn't spit out the... Uh, the worms, he spit out fiends, little imp things. It's interesting. <laughs> I will enjoy this. <laughs> he makes me want to watch cool runnings. Some people say, you know, they can't believe. Jamaica, we have a witch doctor. Cool runnings. That's what I should have called him. It's cool runnings or Talula. If you don't know what I'm referencing, you need to go watch cool runnings right now. Shame on you for not having seen that movie before. It, among many other, th other things, defines my childhood. Get him, bats! Get him, bats! That's my Joker impersonation. Nobody does it like Mark Hamill, though. Nobody. Oh my goodness. Can I take a break? I love the I love the look of when I'm going. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just funny. All right, let's take a break real quick. Look at our inventory. Ooh, that's good. Twelve point one. Oh, that was twelve point one two. They're oh, they're identical. Light crow of the wounding. Light crow. Or like light crow. Light light crossbow. Another stone vault. I've never seen these things before. Maybe I just never clicked on them. Um. Four health globes and potions grant plus nine. I don't need that now. Oh, does that keep going? All right, well, let's go look over here first. Although this might keep going too. Now let's watch what comes out of this guy. Yep, he spews out fiends. That's interesting. And gross. How are they surviving in there?
The reason I don't like imps and fiends is because they're so small, it's hard to click on them. Which I guess is why they give you the shift click option. It's cool, you can see that guy glowing off in the distance up here. Let's go up here and wreck him. A perfect strike! A perfect strike! My power grows vast. Yeah. Ooh, a new active skill unlocked. Let us take a look at it once we kill everybody. Let's do our little dance. Alright, um, let's look at this too. We got Reptilian Leather Hood of the ba Oh, I don't even have one of those yet. Sweet! What do I look like now? Oh, dude. Dude. I'm like... I'm like Saruman of the Bushmen. Um, okay. That was, that was potentially very racist. Um, uh, so let's see. Summon zombie dogs. Oh, okay. New thing for that. Oh, okay. Horrify. Channel the horrors of the, uh, whoops, of the unformed land and frighten nearby enemies. So it just frightens the enemies? I don't know that I really want that. It just frightens them. I don't want to. F I don't want them to run away. I want to kill them. You know what I mean? I know those are stairs going up, but I want to come over here to this side. Go around the this way. Oh, and this links up with where I was earlier. I guess somehow. I don't know. I'm confused about that. The truth binds you. that lightning I keep seeing? Is that one of the bad guys or is that something from me? Alright, well I guess we're going up here, aren't we dogs? And they're fighting us on the stairs. What is that lightning? Is that my... I have no clue. I must have like an enchantment on an item or something that I'm not aware of. Not complaining. Lightning is always better than no lightning. Yeah, you guys go get those fiends. I don't feel like tackling them. Alright, I'd like to finish this dungeon before this episode's over. Hmm. Yeah, it's gotta be this way. What was that? Oh, I guess I grabbed an orb of something. Alright, you guys fight them. I'm gonna go grab this. This might be experience. Yes. Oh, experience added to bonus pool. I need to look up what that means. I think that means, like, you are evil experience gets added to all of your characters or something? A, what's an experience pool? Or what's a bonus experience pool or something like that? I don't... I don't get it. Well, that was cool. It blew stuff up. Okay, let's go back down here. Let's go back this way, because I'm guessing we had to go straight over back here. Come on, little doggies. It's an interesting design to this dungeon. Oh, it was right here this whole time. Level 2. The bones beneath this tomb scream of madness and betrayal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, so it is. Oh, hello. Let's see if I can just stand back and let my dogs do all the work. And spiders. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go up here and do it with some bats. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get some more of that. New lore. The unburied are formed from human corpses Ooh. that were flung into mass graves without a proper burial. This hideous amalgamation of bodies 
decomposes together into Amalgamation isn't a real word, I don't bound think. by some foul magic. For all my knowledge, I could only flee from it. And I would expect any other sensible person to do the same. Yeah, amalgamation, I think, is a is a is a fake word. Um, whoops. Um so yeah, I got this new axe from him that deals poison damage. And it's more damage per second, which is cool. Chancellor's tomb. Ooh. Oh, the Tomb Guardians, that's right. I was trying to remember who those crazy looking guys were. Right, let's go up here so we can do some bats. Your evil undoes you. Get those guardians. Come on, doggies. Come on. My dog's like, and they haven't died yet. Usually when you summon like a creature, it's like, uh, they'll probably die in a couple minutes or something. Now, I can't remember. Is this where I fight the Skeleton King? I don't think it is yet. No. No, I this is just the Chancellor. Bring that monster Leoric back to this world. Yeah, yeah. Keep fighting my doggies. That's all you want to do. And run, you pansy. Run. Man, those bats are awesome. Cool. I got a knife. I got a dagger thingy. I'll take the crown. Okay, we took the crown. Okay, but the lady's tone. Okay. Oh yeah, now we can use this thingy. I need to go back. I need to go back. Yeah. I need to be here. There's a game I haven't played in a while. All right. Well, first, let's look at what we got. We got a ooh 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 ooh. We got a we got a doll. I know that sounds really dumb. Um. Monster kill grants two experience plus one to two damage. So it's it's an offhand. Oh, look at that. This baby does 17.5 damage per second. It does more poison damage than my axe does. And I get plus 20 maximum mana for which that's a that's a buff for witch doctors only. So that's obviously meant for me. And this is obviously meant for me. This is an offhand thing. So I carry a little doll around with me, basically. See? Huh? That's now i i am officially looking pretty legit i still got a bitty really bad back and i gotta get go to the chiro chiropractor blah, 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 blah. um i can speak uh, the english okay i found the crown truth be told i didn't think you'd make it back alive good job donkey uh, it needs repair should be no problem it's good to work again there new is the day it was placed upon the black king's head I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. I want my life to mean something. We all seek meaning in grief. Maybe we will find it together. Cool, cool, cool. I got some bracers. And they are um, regenerate one life per second plus one vitality. Hmm. But that's a good bit of healing. We're gonna we're gonna add those because I like all these healing things, even though I never die. But that's kind of why I never die because I like those healing things. Um, we're not gonna go bother talking to Deckard Cain yet, but I want to show you what I can do here. I can go to these things, and I can have him craft forge things for me. I can also salvage things. So like, um, like this stuff will turn into scrap. Basically, is what it amounts to. Um, Oh wait, wait! I gotta. I, this, this to me, the salvage system doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I gotta click over here, then I click over here, okay, and then it, and so it makes scrap out of all these things. So rather than selling it, I now have stuff with which to make things. And I usually just do the lower, the lower end items, for the most part. Every now and then I'll do an enchanted item because I need something special from it. But I need to sell stuff, too, to make money. Although, I've actually got quite a bit of money. So, let's do get rid of... Let's, let's do sell this poison. Let's do, do this poison one. Um, that, that, that. I got plenty of money. Let's just go ahead and do all these. Why not? I can always, I can always go grind for money. Okay. So, basically, now what we can do is... Like, I could have him make me a... Not that I want a shield... But, like, let's say I don't have anything for my shoulders. Well, he does he, he, can't, he can't make me shoulders right now. A weapon. Um, 
he could make me a rare sword and it gives me an idea of what it will be like its base damage would be 11.2 that's not including any extra damage added by by buffs and whatnot um so right now i've got a really good knight dagger so i'm not going to be doing that but what do i have that's pretty weak um bracers aren't great my pants aren't great and my boot my boots are the weakest actually so let's let's just just for learning's sake oh and i can also upgrade him by by paying him money to basically to, um to uh to train and get better um so we're gonna make some what am i making oh, i'm making boots boots right here so they're gonna be 16 to 18 but they're gonna have two random magic properties um and it's only gonna cost me five exquisite essence and 225 this probably isn't worth it but i want to give you all an idea of what it can do um so we're gonna craft it and so now we get these boots and turns out they are a lot better they give me they're going to give me uh extra damage extra toughness extra movement speed and extra intelligence so that's good i lose the only thing i'm losing is um the monsters gaining experience so i'm actually going to go sell those over here i've got sound some interesting things on my latest day is no way take a look. what happened oh, there we go it, it, i clicked on him and then it gave me the the other guy's stuff Ooh, what's that furious oh that's for the demon hunter okay and then what we do is, this is a little tip if you're going to think about playing Diablo 3, is you keep this stuff in here. You put this stuff in your stash, and the stash is shared by all of your characters. Oh, I forgot about that. The, sh the, the stash is shared by all of your characters, so, um, uh, so all you have to do is keep it in there, and it... It knows, like from from the, I, I'm having a hard time figuring out what I'm wanting to say. Um, the when you go to the um, blacksmith, he sees the stuff in your stash, so you just keep it in there, and then any character can use it. Pretty cool. And like that, we have an empty. Well, not complete. Oh, whoa, what was that? Oh. My dearest Hadrick. Do not feel despair, my Okay, love. don't worry about that. Okay, that was the wife's letter to the husband who was a zombie. So anyways, that's it for this episode of Diablo 3. Hope you enjoyed. We uh, did some dungeon crawling today. And next time we'll talk to Deckard Kane and see what we're going to do next. Adios, my brothers. The Jamba uh, Saruman of the Bushmen is logging out. Bye-bye.